Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I'm gonna talk about the Pecron E3000. I've already done a video, I'll put that in the description. I'll put it in the pin and the link, just so you can see it. Um, they have sent me another charger, and they sent me those two panels. I didn't talk about those before. I wanna talk about them now. Um, so, if you've got any questions, watch the other video, but I'll quickly go through this thing. Um, and I'm gonna tell you some good things. This thing was almost a grand slam. I mean, it was robbed of being a grand slam, and I'll tell you why. But this unit right here is nice because it is the, the biggest battery bank I have. It is um, 3,108 watt hours in the battery. That's huge, 3,108 watt hours. And it's powered by a 2,000 watt inverter, so you can run your refrigerator, uh, everything you need off of that. And it has a peak of 4,000. So that's a big unit. Um, a big unit needs to, to be able to be charged quickly. Right now I'm charging with the two solar panels. Those are 200 watts each. So we have 400 watts of power coming into the machine. If you remember the last machine I showed you, um, the little one, it was charging at 53 watts from the power grid, from the plug. Totally not good uh, for preppers. And I review these as a prepper item. Um, and that's the purpose of reviewing them. This is a prepper channel, and so if they're not good enough for what we need them for as preppers, then it's, you know, we're not taking them camping. Some people do. I review this as a prepping item. Let me show you why this thing is awesome. Originally, I showed you one of the ways to charge it, but it has two MPPT charge controllers built in. So as you can see, you can use two panels or you can use two that you can plug into the grid or you can plug into your generator. The reason this is the biggest thing on this thing is because if you're a prepper and it's a cloudy, rainy, wet day, you can't get any solar, you need to recharge it for that day because you've probably used a lot of power up during night. These are each 600 watts. So you can put 1200 watts. Now I could never get 1200 watts. Most I got was a little over 1100 watts, uh, which is phenomenal. So and if you took this thing all the way down in about three and a half hours, you could fully charge it again. And typically you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't take it fully down. So in a few hours, if you had to plug it into a generator, and I'm gonna talk more about that, a gener you have to have a generator for a complete package as a prepper. Now, if you're just using it for camping or for a, a power outage that could last 24 hours, it's no big deal. So. This thing can hum, it can charge this thing quickly. And really, if you had another input, like a small solar panel, that can take a, another 100. So you can definitely increase it. The problem is, the more power you pump in here quickly, it's not as good for the electronics. So if you got time, I would use one charger. Now granted, only one charger comes with the unit, I think this is definitely a necessary that you have to buy. I don't even know the cost of that. But if you know you got to get this thing charged, plug it into your generator, plug both of those in, and get this thing charged quickly as a prepper. This thing weighs about 55 pounds, so it's very, very heavy. There's no doubt about it. You, you need to really have a two-man lift on this thing. It does have a pure sine wave inverter, so it's you know good for your computers. The reason I did highly recommend it when I did the first review was for one reason. This thing in it has a lithium ion battery. A ion battery. I wish it would have been a home run grand slam win the Super Bowl if it had a lithium iron phosphate battery, a LifePo 4 battery. The reason is the battery that's in here is the lithium ion and it has about a thousand cycles. So you could take it from 100 down to zero about a thousand times then it's going to lose some of its capacity in the battery down to 80 percent so that for a prepper is a little turn off because we're we're wanting something better and a lithium iron phosphate battery will give you two or three times the life give you the life cycles on it that's why this is not a grand slam they've done everything right with this thing except did not put the right battery in for preppers now if they put the right battery in it'd probably be about 12 pounds heavier which to me, that would be, I'd, doesn't matter because this is really a two-man carry. They've realized this thing is so heavy at 55 pounds, they've actually come out with this cart um, that you can use to haul around, but it's a couple hundred dollars. But really, I prefer the 
just someone else grab it. So even two ladies can carry this. You know, you're splitting 55 pounds. They got great handles, so no problems there. I do want to give them another compliment, those panels. Right now this thing is fully charged, um, but it is putting 333 watts. Now granted, those are two 200 watt panels. That's 400 watts of panels. But before it was at the 100% mark, uh, this thing was putting out like 360, uh, 370 watts. And it really depends on the angle. I need to turn those panels to get the better angle on the sun. Their pa that panel right there, and I've tested five or six, and you've seen them on this channel. The Pecoron panel is the most efficient. I'm getting the most out of it. So that's kudos to them. Uh, kudos to having the ability to charge 1,200 watts. The display is great. Everything is awesome on this unit, but they put the wrong battery in it. If they would, their next model come out here and do the same thing, but put the lithium, uh, the LifePo 4 battery in here, this would be a true winner. Now, granted, when I showed it to you, it was doing or during their crowd crowdfunding event, so I think it was like sixteen hundred dollars somewhere like that. Um, now it's up to like twenty two hundred, but I think they have a coupon on Amazon, so it's like two thousand. If this was a LifePo battery, I would definitely tell you that this is worth considering. When you get up in the two thousand dollar range, you know there's other brands that you would have to compare it with. Uh, the Blue Eddy, uh, Echo Flow, but you could at least compare them if it had the right battery in it. So, Pecoron, thanks for sending me the extra charger. Uh, it definitely came in handy. But address your battery problem, and I think you will get 100% on your next final exam. Thanks for watching.